the uh, sheriff of Pima County uh, blamed uh, the vitriolic political rhetoric that has consumed the country, that is his phrase, uh, for this happening. Do you feel that that was a part of this? First, I, I didn't really think that that had any part in a, in a, in a law enforcement briefing last night. Uh, it was speculation, and I don't think we should rush to speculate. And it's probably giving him too much credit to ascribe a coherent political philosophy uh, to him. Uh, we just have to acknowledge that there are some mentally unstable people in this country who knows what motivates them to do what they do, uh, and then they can commit terrible crimes like this. You know, it's bewildering and disappointing to me that while people are making funeral arrangements that somehow uh, those in authority, those really given the trust to report these uh, circumstances to us would somehow politicize it before they knew the first thing about what the, the real truth was. I was especially disappointed in, in, in Sheriff uh, Dupnik uh, uh, because uh, we were looking to him to give us uh, straight facts and he politicized this. Maybe the better way to ask the question is this. Is there any evidence or fact that would support that political speech of some sort drove this 22-year-old sicko to kill? Uh, Bill, if there is, I can't, uh, I can't discern it. it. Everything I've learned about this individual is he is just disturbed and bizarre. I accuse the sheriff of assigning blame for a political purpose. He's out there immediately uh, blaming this on, on talk radio. But you talk about rhetoric. I mean, is uh, give me liberty or give me death? Uh, that's some pretty strong rhetoric uh, also. Tempers are already inflamed. People are upset about what's happened. The grieving families are still mourning. The bodies have yet to be buried. And, and is it the time really to be injecting speculative opinion uh, like that into this case by somebody like yourself, the sheriff? You ran for office as a Democrat. And, and I just want to press you on that a little because I, I'm sure some of our viewers are asking themselves why you are putting a, a political spin on this when, it, when they may be asking why you, the sheriff, aren't just focused on the facts. We're dealing with uh, some sort of madman, you know, just like we've had in the past, uh, uh, the, the assassination of Robert Kennedy, the assassination of John F. Kennedy, you know, the assassination of Martin Luther King, as you refer to a time gone by, there were madmen then, there are madmen now. And it just, you know, is it, is it really the place of a sheriff to stir the pot on either side of the political aisle? Well, I guess that's for the listeners to decide. That's fair enough, sir. I appreciate that answer.